Uh, I mean, we can we can reach out. <laughs> she said she was stopped by a stadium employee after her ticket was just scanned, and the stadium told uh, employee security told her that her T-shirt was offensive. She said her reaction was, "What? What can possibly be offensive about a uterus?" And uh, Paula told CBS Two News in Los Angeles, "There's nothing offensive about my T-shirt. My feet." My shirt is an image, a line of a drawing, a line drawing of uterus. Uh-huh. Pollock was told she would either had to wear her jacket over her shirt or leave the game, and she and her boyfriend chose to leave. I She's... thought this was America. <laughs> huh? Is this America? I'm sorry. I thought this was America. <laughs> yeah. And she said she was forced to stand in front of security guards while they stared at the shirt. To determine if it was appropriate, she was wearing she it. Felt, Why was that making her uncomfortable? So okay, wait, 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 wait. So Paula, she wears a shirt in public and gets mad that people are looking at her. No, <laughs> follow up question: How big were her tits? Yes, that is very uh, important. I don't think that's mm. part of the story. Look, if they're B-cups. staring at her shirt, there better be something staring. They're yeah, yeah maybe bees, C's. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Carry on. I'm just going to apologize now. Yeah. Yeah. To uh, <laughs> all the women of America? Yeah. Yeah, apologize for yourself. No, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh making matters worse, Pollock says that uh, is that she saw a woman walking around in a t-shirt that read, "Can get this, she wants the D." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which features the daughter's logo, but are obvious sexual innuendos. So the teacher's saying she wants the D, and the D's in the Dodgers D style. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> it's a blue t-shirt. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> the team released a statement to CBS2 when asked about the incident. She said, There is no dress code, but under our fan code of conduct, we have several provisions about incident clothing. The statement read, We're not going to comment on this specific incident, but we are in contact with Miss Pollock and are reviewing it internally. Oh, but frankly, you- no. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking asshole. You know what? Dude. This isn't the first time I've heard about this case. There was an incident where a guy wore something that said like an obvious curse word. I think it was like fuck or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they, um, that's what they cited that a guy said something that was right. um, insulting a player, like fuck Puig or fuck something. You know, that one is also sexual. Well, no, it wasn't that particular story. Damn. Yeah, I think I think it was just like. Uh, I, I think it just said fuck, let's uh-huh. just say, for instance. Um, and all he did, he wanted to watch the game. He turned his shirt inside out, and uh-huh. they still let him in. Oh, So, because it could... said cuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. Nice. And, you know, I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen um, you know, games where, like, people standing behind home plate, they're wearing, like, the, op- the visiting team's T-shirt. You know, I saw mm-hmm. one time like a Dodger fan was standing behind home plate in the Arizona, car, you know, a, a Diamondbacks game, uh-huh. and um, all of a sudden you see like one of the employees come down and hand her an Arizona Diamondbacks T-shirt, and they said, <gasps> "Hey, look, you're in the you're in the uh, owner's box seats. You need to wear, um, you need to wear, you oh, know, okay. Diamondbacks." Well, you know, clothes. the owner is telling you. Well, but- I, I mean, I think we've heard this before. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just about to get to that. <laughs> Like, this totally reminds me. This is, like, another kind of thing that, like, Elaine would do. So that's kind of what it reminded me of. But I can understand how some people might get offended. I thought this was funny. <laughs> I yeah. thought the t-shirt was funny. And um, I'll see if I can post the picture. I'll, uh, you know, see if we could post it on there so that way you guys can see what this is that's and why, so she, why she got caught with this. But... Yeah, I don't think they should have kicked her out. They should have given her the option of putting it inside out. Or... Look, on a side note... We're putting another shirt on. Well, they did give her the option to put another shirt on, but she decided to bounce. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. On a side note, when it says, no country for old men, I want to let you know that a lot of senior citizens are having plenty of sex, so there's a bunch <laughs> of country for old men. I think she was primarily yeah. talking about hers. Her Also, oh, so, so yeah, her... Yeah. It's a drawing of Jesus hers. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so hers is on display. And she's getting offended that they want her to put it away. How is this going over your head? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's not you to you. It's you to us. Get out. No. Go. No. Go. I don't know. This whole thing is ridiculous. I'm, I'm taking my podcast with me. Thanks for tuning into the Blue Bar Show. 
<laughs> it's a non-issue. It really is. Uh, yeah, Who it is. Cares? Yeah, Seriously. No, well, the, Dodgers, the Dodgers security cared enough for probably a couple security members will lose their job. Most likely. That, yeah. that sucks for the security yeah. guys. They should have just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Just let her go in and wait for a fan to come up to them. If it was an like actual picture of a uterus, yes, I could see that. Yeah. You can get but it. If it's just like a drawing <laughs> of one, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. It's just the well, let, me, let me take a look at this. So let me. Uh, I'm showing the foos around here. Uh, you know what? You know what? Country's uh, missing a no. That's, uh, that's why it's a problem. <laughs> oh no way! I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's not offensive, You're right? Yeah, that's not offensive. That's what I'm saying. You had it's me hilarious. going there, guy. It's a sketch. It's, it's a, sketch a sketch of a uterus. It's just a woman's genitals in a, in it's no, just a sketch pair of form. Bicycle handles. That's right. <laughs> exactly. That's right. It's a that's fucking ram's head. I thought it was a praying mantis. Well, it's just not an axe wound. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gross. I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's finish that off with sports, guys. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. <laughs> well, guys, I got another joint report today. What do you say about that? Ooh. Are you on week? Give me some. I'll smoke you two under the table. Oh, we didn't play my game. Damn. What game? We had a game that we were going to play? No, that was a joke. Let's go. Oh, great. No, you had a game. You had a game. No, he's being a dick. Anyway, (laughs) on today's joint report, please nobody try to do research on this because I just got this off this guy's fucking Facebook. But it looked like a snapshot of a pretty credible website. Fake news. Fake news. (laughs) (laughs) Um, the title says LAX Marijuana Policy. Oh, no, I did read about this. Yeah, yeah you did? Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. See, some legitimacy. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's, a, it's a quick read. It says, while federal law prohibits the possession of marijuana, inclusive of federal airspace, eh? uh-huh. California's passage of Proposition 64, effective January 1st, 2018, allows for individuals uh, 21 years of age or older to possess up to 28.5 grams of marijuana and 8 grams of concentrated marijuana for personal consumption. That's a lot of fucking marijuana, man. 28 oh, yeah. grams? Oh, yeah. That's a couple pockets full for sure. I think we need to see how much that looks like in person. Oh, we've yes. seen how much it looks like in person. <laughs> <laughs> in accordance with Proposition 64, the Los Angeles uh, Airport Police Department will allow passengers to travel through LAX with up to 28.5 grams of marijuana and 8 grams of concentrated marijuana. However... Passengers should be aware that marijuana laws vary state by state, and they are encouraged to check the laws of the states in which they plan to travel. So, there's your green light, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, and actually, um, I read this earlier at work, and uh, they're saying that, yeah, it's, it's in place right now. Some people even corroborated it on uh, you know, Instagram and Facebook, saying, yeah, yeah, dude, I just... I just went through the airport earlier today and I had it. And it was fine, so yeah. yeah, and the reasoning was is that they felt they have more security issues they got to deal with, and they worry about you know especially if people traveling interstate, um, you know they don't want to have to worry about that anymore. You know having them carry marijuana and then having to send them to jail because they can't do anything anyway now. Like people, like they'll, they'll fight it and win. Yeah, they'll fight I did. it and win. Yeah, yeah, and most likely people yeah. win really easily nowadays. When did I get arrested? This was what four years ago. Give or take? No, that's, it was like five, six years like ago. Like six years, dude. It was like six years ago, <laughs> and uh, I just had a little uh, nug of uh, hash. Oh. And, uh, I, yeah, I got sent to the fucking can. They threw this guy in the joint. Oh. <laughs> Did Bubba come up All to you, man? All we wanted to do was get some massage. wing stop. All we wanted to do was get wing stop. Then I get pulled over. Mind you, I was speeding. I was prepared to pay the speeding ticket. Next thing you know, I'm going to jail because I got a little nug. Jackass of, uh, is speeding. I know. Whatever, dude. We really wanted wing stop that night. <laughs> we were so Apparently. hungry. We were really hungry. And you don't smoke, which is surprising, Steph. Yeah. You were that hungry for wing stuff? I, were... I was stone cold sober. Sitting in that passenger seat getting pulled over. Stone cold, stone cold sober. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, so I hired uh, Shanta Bibian, who was uh, Doug Benson's lawyer on Super High Me. Oh. And I won. Ah. Yeah. Congra- c- congratulations. Six Thank you. years later. I know. Yeah. See? And I now know. it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. No, but that's good. That It's good that this, they're allowing this because now I can go to San Francisco and bring some wheat back with me and I don't have to worry about anything. It's totally. expensive but, up there. But it's still California. But if you were to it's go to Colorado, state, hell. 
Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. So you can interstate. So interstate, it's still it's it's still allowed. We can do that. That's what I'm saying because the state of California has allowed it. Uh, as long as we're not going to places where it's prohibited. So let's say we're trying to travel. So the with, law is just like, if you haven't read the law, read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because that's like pretty much really what just the like law is. any other law. Pretty much, yeah. Right um, okay. But one of the examples was like, let's say you want to fly to Iowa, um, which doesn't have legalized marijuana. It's pro- it's prohibited there, and you travel with this, then yes, you will get arrested as soon as you arrive with I- in Iowa if they fi- if they find it in your possession, or if you're trying to leave with it, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but if let's say you were to go to Colorado, it's le- it, you're allowed. If they're not going to. If they see that you have an ounce of marijuana, they will they'll only just check you, your flight. They'll just check your flight, and then that's it. They're not gonna. They're, they won't confiscate it, even if you f- fly with a pen, like those vape pens. Um, have you, one right here. They're not gonna all of a sudden say, "Hey, can you take that out, please?" or anything. Or they're not gonna throw have you toss throw it, it away. Yeah. No, they're not gonna have you do that anymore. Now, now they're they're just gonna let you fly with that. I was reading once on a forum and some guy was like a police officer and said pulling over people or arresting people for marijuana was such a waste of time for cops yeah so he was pretty glad when these marijuana laws came about yeah that's like, one yeah, less thing like, to worry about it. coming yeah. from a police officer he's just like this is ridiculous there are, are serious matters other than there pulling over people yeah, there were a lot of uh, uh, killing people's high yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah totally i mean there were a lot of i think police departments that were kind of on board in california um for legalizing it only well, cuz they didn't want to have to deal so, with like it. it's everywhere yeah. like, you can't stop it like yeah. when the people say we've decided that this is going to go down this way you can't stop it. it yeah i mean the public spoke and it mm-hmm. thank Just, god it's you happened. know that happened to the uh the what, what those those uh, intersection cameras yes people stopped paying their tickets yeah and they took him down in LA County. It was the greatest win that you know well, not Angelino. I think, not in all I think of LA it County. was costing <laughs> mostly. Most, I think it was costing it. more to man it uh, than to actually than they were getting. Back. Yeah, well, so they they cut down the amount that they. Well, had not only there. that, but like people were lawyering up, and 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 the lawyers were making the argument uh, about like somebody has to be present to give you this ticket. Like so, you you have to when you go to court, you have to face your accuser. Yeah. Are they gonna tear down the fucking camera so that they can bring it to the courtroom so that it can then accuse you? Yeah, exactly. So inanimate objects just can. Yeah. So that that was the argument that was being made, and that's why all these cases, the state or the the, the LA County was losing. Mm-hmm. So it kind of turned that way, and they're like, well, fuck. I mean, if we can't if we gotta get revenue, because that's what it's really all about, getting yeah. revenue out of your fucking citizens, um, then then it's not worth having them up. I agree. I'm not on. Yeah. I'm not on the opposite side here, pal. Yeah, man. No, I'm pissed. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> Are you though? So uh, on a, on a different, on a similar note, um, Steph, you sent me this uh, earlier today. Uh, Ontario, Canada, uh, they will. Uh, well, Canada is going to legalize marijuana real starting soon. October 17th. October 17th will be legal in Canada. Anybody wow. over the age of 19 can smoke weed anywhere that tobacco was also allowed. Damn, 19? Down the street. Down, you can just be walking down the street with a joint in your hand, and you're good. Son of a bitch. Outside yeah. of your like, house, can like, you Like, fuck it? you, coppers. Well, I mean... Can't catch me, coppers. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a... That's kind of a good ploy on Canada because who really is going to want to be walking around outside in the fucking well, snow in Canada smoking a J? Well, yeah. I, I was, <laughs> I, I, was do it. I was saying um, that the sh- trend is shifting more towards pens. Yeah. So the smell won't be a problem. Oh, okay. right. Right, because it's it's sort of hard to like roll a joint while you're walking. You have to have like pre joints rolled. Yeah. Keep it in your well, little that's how it is. Joint that's little case. They sell pre joints. Yeah, I know they sell them. They sell them in <laughs> cartons. Whatever. Welcome. To Jurassic Park. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it just—I mean, you know—it's easier yeah. just to carry around a pen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't that, stink up the joint either. That's yeah. part of the pun. It's not obvious. It's, it's not. It's not obvious who's like smoking. Mm-hmm. When you're smoking a J, someone's like, "Holy shit, you smell that!" And they can like follow the smell. Too. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, it's like fucking Bugs Bunny when he smells like a meatloaf cooking or something. <laughs> and he's just like floating. Just floating. Well, anyway, they're going to be able to smoke it any way they want, anywhere they want, as long as you know permitted. Uh, I, I guess they they might not allow um, tobacco in bars right now, so that that's probably the case too. But, oh, okay. I mean, it's, we're, everybody's already used to that shit. Yeah. You have smoke outside. Yeah, just take it outside. Yeah. You're good. Uh, but anyway, that that was the joint report. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> 
You guys up for some uh, some music highlights? Please, I gotta pee. All right. <laughs> I wanna rock. Well, this first one is by a band that we all know and love, except for the foo, called. <laughs>